Tonight, some Brownsville ISD parents are saddened that three of the district's schools will be closing. That's right. CBS 4 Santiago Caicedo joins us in the studio. And Santiago, why did all but one school board member decide to close these schools? Nicole and Chris, most school board members said there aren't enough students going to their schools, creating a loss for the district. Another board member said they would have to eventually lay off teachers if they don't close down campuses. Brownsville ISD parents of three elementary schools were emotional after having learned their children's school will close forever. Six yes, one no. Beatriz Hinojosa is a parent to three students at Victoria Heights Elementary. She says her kids are the ones that will suffer. We already knew the decision was made, but we thought they would change their minds when they listened to us, Hinojosa said. During the nearly two-hour special school board session, district staff reviewed for what many seemed like a critical point in the district. A projected 10-year decline in enrollment, the district says it won't be able to make enough money from attendance numbers, leading the district into a possible $33 million deficit related to student loss. By ensuring that BISD school district remains financially stable and provides equitable services, to our present and future students. The school district pointed to aging buildings with many dating as far back as 1915. That would cost too much to repair in comparison to how much the district has in revenue. The changes the district announced are Resaca Elementary School will close and students will be moved to Sharp and Putnam Elementary. Victoria Heights Elementary will close and students will move to Perez Elementary. Longoria Elementary will close and students will move to Canales Elementary. For parents like Hinojosa, closing down Victoria Heights means the end of a legacy. This hurts me a lot, Hinojosa says. I went to school there. My parents went to school there. I have generations of family going there, and this hurts. Brownsville ISD school board members said it has the capacity to accommodate students into their new schools and that they will make sure all students have transportation to class. The district adds that no teachers are being laid off. In the studio with Complete Valley coverage, Santiago Caicedo, CBS4 Valley Tonight.